Hi, I'm Dan Mullenkamp. And I'm Kelly Heitkamp. To talk about, all right, so let's say um, you think maybe you're a better than average driver. And you would probably then save money, if that's true, if you told the insurance company somehow that you were a better than average driver, right? Correct, yeah. All right, so now these insurance companies have come up with, most of the time they use apps on a phone. Some companies, they use a device you plug into the car, right? That is right. And they're very easy to plug in. It's no big deal whatsoever. But, uh, and then it gathers data about your driving, sends it to the insurance company, and you get a rate based on your actual driving habits. It's the fairest way in the world, rate auto insurance, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, the reason Kelly's here is because she actually did this with her family. Yes, I and, did. Okay. And I saved some money, too. All right. So. so, let me see. You have how many drivers in your family? It's me and my two young, well, my teenagers, I guess. I got two, two teenage kids, so. Okay. And you're with auto owners, but lots of companies have these applications. Yes. That that is correct. All yep. right. And so what did you have to do to get started? When I so realized it was an app I could put on my phone, I thought, well, I'm going to just quote it on there to see to see what it does with my rates. And adding that on at my renewal last year saved me 10% on my premium. Which was about how much money? It, it was around $300. Ooh, nice. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now you had to put it on your phone. You also had to put it on your kids' phone. Yes. Phones, right? My kids had to install it. Each one had to install it on their, the app onto their phone. So uh, very easy to use. I mean, you can uh, go on there anytime and check to see what their score is, see how their driving is. So, yeah. And what did your kids think when you told them you're going to do this? They had no problems with it at all. Great. So well, that, that, your was, kids might be way better than that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was very easy. Very easy to install and, yeah. So, um, what kind of information goes to the company? What goes to the company is um, they look at uh, hard stops, fast starts, and speeding. I think anything over... 80 miles per hour is what they what they look at. So. And that could vary a little bit from company to company, but that's that basically is correct. it. Yeah. Don't they also track time of day? Some do. Okay. The the app I have does not, but yeah, some do. All right. So what did your kids think when they knew you could look on their phones and figure out if they were driving good or not? They didn't they didn't say much. Okay. My kids didn't seem to care, so <laughs> And do you think it affects how they drive? I think so. I think it, you know, because you can go on that app and it gives you a score. If you had no fast starts or hard stops, you get zero. You get, oh, yeah, you get which, is, which is good. You right. don't want any points. Oh, okay. So it's almost like a game, kind of. <laughs> like, okay, I don't want to get any points. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, so it does. I think it kind of helps you, you know. And is the score that. continuous or is it like by month or how is it? Because you've had it on there for quite a while it, now. It's each trip. It's each trip. trip, and then if you happen to be the passenger in the vehicle while you're, you know, because it'll detect you as a passenger too, you got your phone with you all the time, you can just go on there and change it from driver to passenger. Do you have to do that every time you're as a passenger, or does sometimes does it figure out that you're only a passenger? Um, some, some companies, I think it will. It can kind of detect. Mm -hmm. um, By how you get in and out of the car exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. But you if you if a trip's on there and you were the passenger, you can mark that as a passenger trip. Yes. Yep. Got it. Oh. You you started out with a savings, mm -hmm. but then when your policy renewed, what happened? I had gone through a full year with it on my with with me and my kids with it on our phones, and like I said, I saved ten percent up front, and then once my policy renewed. Uh, just th just this month, I got a pleasant surprise that my premium, the way we scored, and I, I don't call us exceptional drivers. I mean, we're neither does anybody. Run. <laughs> hey, <now. laughs> uh, we are. I mean, we're we're just average drivers. I can't say we're 
great. You you're know? pretty careful people, though. Yeah. It's just by nature, you're careful. I know that. But uh, yeah, when we got our renewals, then I uh, found out that we got another uh, discount mm -hmm. because of our scores, which came back as like a $300 savings for Additional the year. savings. Additional. So your willingness to share your actual driving characteristics with the company, and because you're a better than average driver, you're saving like almost $700 a year, right? Yeah, yeah, from, from where I was at two years ago when it renewed to where I was at this year. Yeah. And so you're using that seven hundred dollars to take the office out to eat, right? Mm, I got two I got three teenagers, <laughs> Dan, so <laughs> maybe not. Maybe. Now when you enroll, first of all you enroll by call you, I mean, if somebody other, I, I know you work here, so you got yes. this figured out, but yeah. somebody else, they would just call in and, and we'd talk about it and they'd want to enroll, right? Right. All we would need, they need to have a smartphone. Oh, yes. That is the criteria, is needing a smartphone. Mm -hmm. um, that way they can put the app on there. And what we, what we, I just did it for somebody who added their first youthful operator on, and all I needed was a phone number, uh, their cell phone number for each person that wanted to enroll in this. And I was able to go to the policy, plug those phone numbers in, get them enrolled. As soon as I got them enrolled, they got a text saying, hey, let's get this app put on your phone, and it was as easy as that. Awesome. So. Okay. Now, the way yours work, where you got a discount at the beginning, and you're now don't think that every single person out there is going to get a three hundred dollar discount when right. they sign up. Okay. Yeah. But then you got a bigger discount down the road. Um, this is really more of a. It's a more of a long term thing, is the idea, right? I mean, in other words. Don't be, especially if you're an existing client and you sign up with a company or something like that, sometimes the first discount isn't near, isn't all that big. Right, yeah. But then you save money for a long period of time and the discount is likely to be larger the next time your policy renews. Right. Okay. It's a, it's not a, this isn't a quick, you know, automatically save a whole bunch of money type of thing. It's more of a long-term way of thinking about how you're getting your insurance rated. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. When we talk about this device, it's not all about saving money. Some of it is, especially when you have kids driving, it's about making your kid a better driver. Right. Because we all know that habits form over time. So if your child, you know for sure, or if they know they're, that the, this, their rates are being affected by how they drive, and uh, the company's gathering this information. So they watch how they drive closer. That they, You do that for four, five, six weeks, and suddenly those better driving habits, they become just that, habits. They're more conscious, I think. Right. Yeah. So don't just look at it as a way to save money in that way. You're probably going to save money because your kids are going to have less speeding tickets, and you probably are going to have fewer speeding tickets too. Let's <laughs> be honest about it, right? And you're going to make your kid a safer driver. Maybe they'll have less accidents. Who knows? Maybe somebody's not going to get hurt because your child developed better driving habits by having this app on their phone. Make sense? Yes. And you, from your experience with your kids, you believe that's a likely outcome, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. One of the drawbacks to doing this. Um, I really don't have, with what I am using right now, I really don't have one. I mean. Well, if you're saving 700 exactly. bucks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have a drawback on that? That's yes. Exactly. All right. So let's say you have, you put this app on your phone and you're looking at it and um, you're, you have it for two, three, four weeks and you realize you kind of suck as a driver. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what happens then? Most companies, you can opt out. They have a uh, specific time frame, most of them do, as to how long they give you to opt out. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're within that time frame, you're good. You would then lose that. From, for instance, for me, when I first signed up, I would lose that 10% discount. You'd go back to a normal rate. You'd go back to your normal, yeah, your normal rate. I know we all think we're great drivers. Some people might 
not actually be as good as we <laughs> thought, you know. So oh. I know when I and my wife did this, and this, we did it some years ago, she got an 18% discount and I got a 10% discount. That's been held over my head more than <laughs> once. <laughs> now, people might ask about how the app affects the battery life of your phone. Have you seen that to be a problem? No, not at all. Uh -uh. Well, how about the data usage? No. Okay, and it works on both an iPhone and an Android, right? Yes, yep, because I, yep, I have an iPhone, my son has an Android, so it works very well on both of those. All right. All right, if I'm putting this on there and I've got children driving, and I do, all right, mm -hmm. um, I want uh, her to know that if she's texting and driving, it's going to pick it up. It's a good way to, uh, again, in, because that's an incredibly dangerous thing to do. Right, yeah. So that's a good thing. And my guess is it's going to become more popular. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I think there's going to be, uh, just go to our website, request a quote, give us a call, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But I think this is an exciting new way for you to save money on your, on your auto insurance assuming you're a better than average driver.